What are the common mistakes that people do while setting up their home theater system in this last 25 years? What was your learning? Uh, most of the time is they buy speakers and they don't buy amplifiers, the correct electronics to go with them. You know, they expect the power to come in, but they're not spending money. Okay. So if I have to break up mm -hmm. the pricing, I think equal amount should be paid for electronics and the speakers. So if you or have, you, a in fact, more, more for, for electronics, electronics than speakers. I know. Correct. But people want good looking speakers. And for me, it's good sounding speakers, right? And the sound comes from the, the processor, amplifiers, the, processors, the amplifier. Yeah. That's, that's what's running it. Correct? Right. And then you have some budget for your projector and screen. Uh, I'm not very good at knowing the pricing right now of the projectors. Yeah, but... But, I, if, but if someone's spending 10 lakh rupees on only audio part, yeah. okay, then... Five to six has to be spent on the electronics and the balance four has to be. No, you can spend, yeah, you can spend four and then balance on the speakers. Huh. Just electronics and cabling and everything. Oh, we are still yet to go to the cabling, cabling stage, six. Yes. Yeah, so you need, you need money for those. Ones. Okay. So four, four lakhs should be good enough for a good amp, uh, you know, of Anthem or whatever, R cams or whatever. Or know. NADs. Yeah, NADs are cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Uh, this is about the audio and the mistakes that people do while investing in the products. Yeah. What are the other mistakes that you have seen, which are pretty common in the in this uh, industry or uh, from the user's point of view? Try and get your AV receivers as close to your projector as you can. Okay. We have a problem the of distance this handshake, of the HDMI. Handshake, handshake issue. Yeah. Handshake issue, right? Today, uh, you know, uh, again, you know, and calibration is very important when you, of course, after speaker placements and everything which are there. Right. Uh, most of the guys try and place point source speakers behind the screen, which they have to be driven much more instead of having compression drivers. Mm. Expose the speakers if you can. Okay. Not put them behind the screen or use something with a compression driver out there. Uh, give enough subwoofers or headroom to the subwoofers. Uh, people go with one. I would say two is the minimum in any room. Use two small guys instead of using one, one big, big guy. guy. You yeah. localize it. Absolutely. You know, and Room modes is something which I don't think anyone can predict. Yeah. You have models, you have everything. But still, I when don't you put think the system, system over there, in, you will, that's then the only, only when you come to know Absolutely. what the room modes are. You might be on your money seat with no base. Yeah. And you might be in a corner where, you know, oh man, it's, it's there's too much of it. Too much of base. Yeah. So, right. So that is something that is very, very important. And how much, uh, like, you know, what are the common acoustic mistakes that people make in the theater? Oh, they make either the room very dead. Okay. But putting in too much of, Acoustic paneling, they feel that covering the entire wall no, no, it's, and the it's, ceiling it's, it's, it's does not, that. It's not enough. First of all, try and get the floor noise down mm -hmm. so that you do isolation. There are two parts to it, isolation yeah. and acoustics. Right. Isolation is something that inside sound not going out. And or the outside sound not coming, coming in. in. I that means you're not, the same, yes. you're not driving the speakers too much. Right. Acoustics is the voicing or your voice within it. That mm -hmm. means you're looking at your RTs and everything. So. Right. But again, we need side-to-side -side reflections. We are watching a movie, mm. correct? We we don't need the bird just flying and then disappear. Disappear. You, you need, need that to. You need some kind of reflection. It needs to complete the loop. So that's where so the again, you have diffusion be, has to be. You, you have to be very careful about uh, doing this thing. Okay. Uh, anything in the video part that you have seen as a common mistakes again? Like I see a lot of people who are buying uh, home theaters with TV. They use the EARC port. To run the TV, I so. I don't like the ARC port or the televisions. Uh, One reason is because you don't have them in NADs as of now. No, it's not a question <laughs> of not having it in NADs. Why, if the TV is supposed to process video, video why, then why, why would it be or? processing, uh, you know, audio? Right. That is why we don't have video processors. We just do a pass through. You give a 4K 60 hertz signal, it will pass through. Right. So we we don't have those kind of problems, you know, where where we have to play with. Second, so always go for a better media thing, source or a content Second source. thing is the CEC. CEC is not a standard. Mm. So everyone wants to be the king in the whole chain. So the projector is trying to control. Apple At TV, times the TV. Uh, Apple TV is trying to control. The amp is uh, trying to control. Everyone is trying to control. So we, I like to fix resolutions and say, okay, I'm, you know, everyone knows their job. Right. And that what sorts me out. Because right. there are, there were complaints. I mean, a lot of times, you know, there are people coming and saying, hey, we were watching Tata Sky and suddenly, you know, the, uh, the projector turns off. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we don't know what is happening. 
it's not because the projector is turning off on its own. The Apple TV the goes, Apple to TV. goes to sleep and, and the CEC sends pushing the signal. That thing. Yeah. yeah. So those are some of the common mistakes which are there, which we need to address. And how much is using a separate media source, something like an Apple TV or an Android oh, or whatever, it's much better. compared to ER? It's it's much better. What percentage uh, in terms of audio and video experience are you I, I think what I have seen uh, from the television to the amp yeah. and using an Apple TV yeah. or, or uh, any media, like any, a good any media, media source. whatever it is, yeah. oh, the media sky is like at least 40% better, 40 to 50% better. That's nice. That's impressive. And lastly, in terms of the placement of the speakers or tilting them towards the setting or giving them the right angles, okay. Do you see that as one of the common mistakes that people do also? I don't know. I like to take my speakers exposed mm -hmm. more than the involved speakers on the height mm -hmm. and tilt them. Because again, what happens is for me is when I'm when I'm doing any theater and they say, you know, we are using directional frequencies. And then we say it's not supposed to be directional, mm. correct? Because it's, yeah, yeah. it's flying. Yes. So I don't want to look at the speaker. Oh, the sound came from here. But when I take it on a high, because it spreads, I don't have that directionality. So instead of putting right next to the ear or just above the ear, I would rather take it on a high. Okay. And uh, when you put it on, like when you buy a bookshelf speakers or flow standing or even subwoofers, like how much important it is to kind of use the studs or the oh it's very important you need to isolate them from the floor mm. uh, which is there so even if i mean if you have to have them above yeah. on the on the stilts you can hear them like that's why isoacoustics were made i mean uh, we generally go to the client's house and actually put them up and show them what the difference is so we have isoacoustics also for subwoofers mm. which isolate the subwoofer you'll find this common thing you know most of the architects like to put the subwoofer in a cabinet with uh, a vented kind Vent, of uh, yeah, yeah. kind of thing and that whole cabinet is actually resonating because it's, it's just going up and down and then we put the apertas underneath and it just stabilizes okay and you can you can try that fantastic i think uh, this has been good information uh, harsh i'm sure to us as well as to all the viewers uh, if there's anything that we have missed out and you want to give out as a closing statement feel free to do that nothing just enjoy your music enjoy the journey don't don't feel scared you and don't and and again you don't have to buy an expensive system start somewhere yeah start you know, somewhere start somewhere you know and if if a song is playing in your head hear it that's about it and don't worry about the brands because that's where i see oh, yeah, many yeah. people getting messed uh, up. it's it's crazy i mean uh, brands come brands go exactly okay see what service is there please make a relationship also with the guy selling you the brand you know that is very very important you know very from true. whom you're buying what you're buying uh, whether there's a backup, how is the service part about it, and of course the pricing. Most of the guys, we, we look at discounts. Mm. Please compare the US pricing to the Indian pricing and then look at the discounts that you're getting. I'm shameless. Okay, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I understood what you tried to do there. But good, I think, uh, thank you so much, Harsh. Pleasure. Uh, it was really a nice, to, a nice conversation to have. And I think it was one of the longest pending one as well. Yeah. True, uh, true. Since almost two and we've a half been, years, he's been, been he's been trying to get me on this on the YouTube live. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. is for, where because for, for one year I was like, you know, for one live I want Harsh to answer all the questions and not me. And not many people would know he has been a good mentor for me and my team. And I think it's been what more than five, seven years of knowing each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think we did your did your room this on the room top. on the top. Yeah, uh, there's one of his guys who went through the rack on the other side, yes. and we had lovely vada pav and chai. Absolutely. So. Let's have that again right now as well. And thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Thank you.